Hello everyone, my name is Tom Handy. I'm one of the Health Policy Master's students studying at Stanford on a Latinity Scholarship. I am a doctor from the UK and have specific interests in transplant surgery. I'm doing some work this time with Dr. Melcher and I'm interested in studying how health policy can improve the way our systems work. Today I'm presenting a project that my group has done on in cost effectiveness, specifically looking at a drug that has been shown to reduce the uh, progression of some of chronic kidney disease. I'm going to start by uh, talking a little bit about the background of the kidney disease, um, why it's so prevalent. Then I'm going to talk through the methodological approach that we took with our analysis, run through some of the main findings from our study and some further techniques that we would use to strengthen our conclusions. And finally discuss what the limitations of our papers are and how it can be interpreted in a policy setting. So predicted one in seven Americans have, uh, uh, adults in America have chronic kidney disease and treating kidney disease costs the US health system over hundred billion dollars a year. It's currently the ninth leading cause of death. One of the main reasons treating kidney disease is so expensive is due to end stage renal failure and the costs that come from dialysis and kidney transplantation. So our study looked at uh, the results from something called the DAPA CKD trial, which came out in September, which was a drug called dapagliflozin. It's a SGLT2 inhibitor uh, that has been shown to reduce progression of kidney disease. It's normally a drug that's used in diabetes patients, but uh, this study showed that it could be used in diabetic patients and patients without uh, diabetes, and showed that it uh, had a reduction in uh, the primary hazard ratio for death and a a reduction in their composite um, in a composite marker for all of the progression of uh, kidney all, uh, composite marker of uh, kidney disease progression. Um, so our study uh, performed a um, uh, used a micro simulation model to convert annual rates of the EGFR decline that were found in that study to transition probabilities between the CKE stages, and uh, showed that. Um, uh, after repeating a kind of a random selection 10,000 times, we used a, a Markov model to calculate the probability of patients either staying in the same stage or progressing through the stages uh, and overall mortality as a result. Um, uh, our uh, cost effectiveness analysis showed that uh, baseline uh, showed that uh, the, because the drug prevented uh, patients progressing through stages, and reaching end-stage kidney disease at, at, um, at a higher rate, it strongly dominated the standard of care and resulted in a saving of 4.8 million quality adjusted life years and $370 billion, which is a, a big headline figure. Um, that was mainly due to preventing a large number of people reaching end-stage renal disease and the costs that are incurred by that. That's best shown through um, the uh, figure one at the top of our results section, and also the cost effectiveness broken down by age cohort in figure two, which is 40 year olds, 50 year olds, 60, 70, and 80 year olds. The main results from our conclusion were sh kind of showed that the addition um, of dapagliflozin to the standard of care within four patients across those age cohorts um, would slow progression through the stages of chronic kidney disease and, and cause uh, life sick and cause life year savings and also uh, financial savings for patients over the course of their life. Um, this is really uh, crucial because um, it, it could mean that this would be added to the standard of treatment. Um, and uh, it could also mean that we should start screening for, um, for kidney disease, which isn't something that we currently do on a national level. Um, and similarly, other studies are currently in, in the works at the moment looking at other SGLT2 inhibitors to see if they have the same effect as dapagliflozin. So in summary, uh, this is a drug that has, that could be prescribed to a large number of people. It could prevent a large number of people, a large number of kidney disease patients from needing to have uh, either transplantation or, or dialysis. And as a result, will uh, could save a, a large amount of money and a, a large number of lives. Uh, thank you very much. I would love to hear back from you uh, any feedback and also to try and answer any questions if I can.